Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings and this is how to create your own custom sound drum kit in BandLab. Open BandLab. At the bottom of the screen, tap on the red plus icon. Scroll through the icons and tap on MIDI instruments. Swipe through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap drums. Swipe through the drums and tap on a drum kit to install it. Then tap on the drum kit again. Just below the bottom right drum pad, tap on the sequencer icon. Tap on the bottom row of squares to add a bass drum beat to the first bar of four beats. Then tap the V icon at the top right of the screen. Just above the drum pads, tap the brown area in the timeline ruler so it turns orange. This will make the first bar of four beats loop. Just below the drum pads, tap FX. At the bottom of the screen, tap the play button and while the beat is playing, select different FX until you find one you like. Tap the mix icon in the top right corner of the effects. At the top right of the screen, tap on the plus icon. Swipe through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the tone tab. And then tap on the graphic EQ. With your finger, drag the green dots on the different lines to change the tone of the beat. The top line is the low bass, and each line down gradually gets higher in frequency. To add more bass to the bass drum, move the green dot on the green lines next to 100Hz, 200Hz and 400Hz to the right. The bottom green line decreases or increases the volume. At the top right of the screen, tap the three dots. Tap Save As. Type in a name for your custom effects. Then tap Save. At the top left of the screen, tap the back arrow. Notice how your saved bass drum effects is now added to the effects list. and you will now be able to choose it in all your projects. At the top right of the screen, tap the V icon. At the bottom left of the screen, tap the mixer icon. On the drum track, tap the three dots, then tap rename and add the words bass drum to the drum kit name and tap OK. The bass drum normally sits in the middle of the mix, so we will leave it panned to center. On the bass drum track, tap the three dots, tap duplicate, and double click the drum icon. Just below the bottom left drum pad, click on the sound icon, and select a different drum kit for the snare drum beat. Just below the bottom right drum pad, tap the sequencer icon, Delete the beat for the bass drum by tapping on each of the notes and now add some beats for the snare drum.
at the top right of the screen. Click on the V icon, then tap on Effects and choose an effects for the snare drum. Tap the mixer icon in the top right corner of the effects. At the top right of the screen, tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the tone tab. Then tap on graphic EQ. Now with your finger, drag the green dots on the different lines to change the tone of the beat. You can add other effects too. So here I will add an auto wah. Tap the plus icon, swipe through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the modulation tab. Tap on the auto wah. With your finger try moving the green dots on different lines to hear how they change the sound. To remove the auto wire at the bottom right of the screen, tap Remove. Save your new snare effects and close the effects. At the top right of the screen, tap the V icon. At the bottom left of the screen, tap the Mixer icon. The snare drum normally sits to the right of the bass drum in the mix. So just below the three dots, place your finger on the pan knob icon. A message box will appear with a C in it. Jack your finger up the screen slowly until the message box says 10R. Then tap the mixer icon to return to the track screen. Continue adding more MIDI instrument tracks for the hi-hat, cymbals and toms. Adding effects and modifying the effects with a graphic EQ for each drum track. Finally, tap on the mixer icon to return to the mixer settings and pan the different drum tracks as follows. Pan hi-hat to 25R. Pan crash cymbal to 20R. Pan ride symbol to 25L. Pan high tom to 15R. Pan medium tom to 10L. And pan floor tom to 20L. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.